I bought drugs off an undercover cop to make sure he was doing his job properly. <laughs> Just got a world's greatest stepdad t-shirt. It was a hand-me-down. <laughs> Incense candles are just stripper names. You got Amber, Rose, Jasmine, Cinnamon, and Unicorn's Blood. <laughs> My lap dance better smell delicious. Like, I don't like the words incense or incest. They sound too much alike. If they say the wrong one at the wrong time. Like, man, I really like the smell of incest in the morning. So I was like cinnamon, the back of a trailer, and the unwanted sexual advances from my uncle named Tim. <laughs> now I'm gonna do those jokes as fast as I possibly can. How about drugs? I've been a cop, make sure you're doing job properties. You got a world's great step out t shirts, hand me down, insect cameras, a stripper name. You got Amber Rose, Jasmine, Simon, and you're going my lap dance, bear, smell delicious. I like the words incense or incest, sound too much like face, they were wrong, one was the wrong time, like man, we're like smell incense and more, so it's like bacon back trailer, and one sexual advances from uncle named Tim. <laughs> A coworker of mine came up to me today and I was like, wow, Mike, do you know you have resting mass shooter face? <laughs> I, I told her not to come into work on Thursday. <laughs> she filed an HR complaint on Friday. I shot her on Saturday. <laughs> it's been a busy fucking week. But my name is Mike. Uh, my friends call me Michael. My mom calls me the load she should have swallowed. She's a classy whore. <laughs> She's got five kids by three different dudes, all different races. So whenever we get together for Christmas, looks like we're about to drop a super dope version of Joy to the World. <laughs> I like friends with benefits, but what I really want is friends with medical benefits. <laughs> I'll fuck you, but I get dental on 401k out of this. They say follow in your father's footsteps. My dad's in a wheelchair. I roll around in his tire tracks. <laughs> Parkinson's kills any Etch-A-Sketch artist's dreams. <laughs> and makes them unpredictable sword fighters. <laughs> I love adult coloring books because I can color nipples purple. <laughs> I listen to trap music because I'm a hardcore hunter. I'm trying to catch a hipster bear. I love watching a cop pull someone over because that means I can drive drunk safely the next few miles. <laughs> I perform black magic because I'm not racist. And white magic has no soul and just isn't as fast. <laughs> I like to watch fight videos because it brings back great childhood memories of my parents. Just kidding, I never met my real dad, just my mom's boyfriend, he fucking hits hard. <laughs> Grape juice becomes a real unappealing drink when you take the G off the beginning of it. <laughs> that's not a rape juice joke, that's a grape juice joke. <laughs> Having really bad acne just means a blind person can read your face. I'm a competitive person. I want to try heroin to see if I can beat it. I just started doing heroin and I can't stop because it's fucking heroin. That's the most addictive joke I have ever written. I'm a competitive person. I want to try heroin to see if I can beat it. I just started doing heroin and I can't stop because it's fucking heroin. That's the most addictive joke I have ever written. I'm a competitive person. I want to try heroin to see if I can beat it. I just started doing heroin and I can't stop because it's fucking heroin. That's the most addictive joke I have ever written. I bought a Polaroid camera so I could take throwback dick pics. <laughs> I'm gonna get a teardrop tattoo because everybody know I already killed myself on the inside. I like to do one-liners because Nate Ball's too much cocaine. That joke appeals to two sets of people, comics and my parole officer. Diet Coke is only half a line. And Coke Zero has really low self-esteem. That's a stupid fucking joke. Don't laugh at that joke. <laughs> Athletic tape gets better treatment in high school than normal tape. And Gorilla Tape always gets shot at the Cincinnati Zoo. <laughs> it's been a fucking year, get over it. 
I went to a drag race show. It was just a bunch of cars dressed as planes. Lip-syncing Lady Gaga's born this way. <laughs> it was epic. And drugs make you see some wild shit when you're in Walmart's toy aisle. I carry a picture of an exclamation point just in case I need to yell in sign language. <laughs> Yelling in sign language is aggressive, synchronized flailing. <laughs> Thank you, Derek, for laughing at that. <laughs> I had shower sex once. I'm still not allowed back in low shower display section. <laughs> Planned Parenthood's name is ironic. <laughs> Penis fire is a really weird phrase to scream during sex, but not as bad as I have gonorrhea. <laughs> you can take that joke and use it as your own, just take whatever STD you have and put it at the end of it. You're fucking welcome. I saw a guy overdose on water. He drowned. Ten people a day die from drowning. The evil water shall not prevail. This joke has been sponsored by Pepsi. Get caffeinated today. <laughs> my therapist had told me to follow my dreams. And I had some fucked up dreams. So I became the world's first Korean prostitute baseball player. But that was socially unacceptable, so I quit. So now I follow my nightmares instead. I work customer service. <laughs> I read an article that said a sneeze is one sixteenth the sensation of an orgasm. I disagree, I've never cried after sneezing. I did sneeze 16 times in a row once and never came either. Just got kicked out of a library for having my dick out. Superman's favorite drink is fruit punch. Golden showers bring R. Kelly minor flowers. <laughs> I went to Walmart and I saw a sign they had for sale. The sign said, I can't adult today, which is kind of ironic because it was made from a kid in Japan. The signs really say, help, I want to be a kid today. If you think about it, everybody in life gets at least one participation trophy. It's called a tombstone. That's a good fucking joke. I don't give a shit what you guys think. I dated a girl named Tina for a little bit. She was abusive, mentally and physically exhausting, but my friends and family there picked me up during the hard times. I broke up with Tina. Her birthday is on July 14th, which according to the Zodiac sign means I'm a cancer survivor. <laughs> also dated a Leo for a little bit, experiment in college, dude's name was Leo. A trans transformer must have one hell of an identity crisis. <laughs> I'm a car, I'm a robot, I'm a crime fighter, I'm a honey bun. <laughs> They're more than meets the eye. <laughs> I really like speed dating because it shows you how much she can take before she ODs. Whenever I'm driving and I see the road sign reduce speed ahead, I turn around. I don't buy less potent drugs. <laughs> like, I don't like the road sign bridge. Ice is before road. I think that's a little messed up. I don't need to know about the bridge's personal life. I don't care if it's a crystal meth attic. Have a more positive sign. Bridge in recovery. Long road ahead. Please supply support beams. And on a side note, bridge gets into peer pressure faster than road. <laughs> I'm really into online dating because I can live vicariously through that guy's photos. <laughs> and he doesn't know he's in the midget porn. <laughs> I want to see a catfish, catfish, a catfish. Because <laughs> I love identity theft aquatic love triangle TV shows. Donuts are just diabetic bagels. <laughs> Chocolate chip bagels are donuts in denial. 
If a woodchuck could chuck wood, that tongue twister would not exist. <laughs> for the first time in my life, I found out I was gay. I was happy for the past week. If you don't understand that joke, you don't realize words have more than one meaning. Fags. Ha, I caught you a bunch of British cigarettes. <laughs> Speed bumps are great, unless they're on sidewalks. Then they're unexpected and called pedestrians. Back-to-back -back speed bumps means the second person wasn't paying any fucking attention. <laughs> they weren't. All wizards look like Vietnam vets. Oh a wizard can get with anything. A wizard can sacrifice seven mice in a bowl of macaroni in the middle of a public and nobody bats an eye. I do the same thing in my own BMV, I don't get my license. <laughs> I get arrested, asking me what I was doing. I was conjuring up a spell, why the fuck have I been here for three goddamn minutes to get my goddamn license? That's the fuck I was doing. <laughs> have anybody heard the phrase, going ham? You know what that stands for? No. Going hard as a motherfucker. <laughs> know what it is, going hard as a motherfucker? I don't know, sacrificing your one and only son for the sins of humanity, burying him in a tomb. Going down that tomb three days later, he's not there because he's risen from the dead. That's going hard as a motherfucker. That's going go so hard. God was like, Jesus Christ, it's going ham. <laughs> and create a holiday after it called it Easter. That's why ham is a staple dish of any Easter dinner. <laughs> Blind people always have sex in the dark. No turn on red is no turn on top gray light if you're colorblind. <laughs> it's impossible not to draw an anorexic stick figure. <laughs> a stick figure is a portrait of a man with no fingers, toes, or hair, which means he can't play the keyboard, has a horrible sense of balance, and is going through chemotherapy. <laughs> I can't look at the stick figure family in the back of a car the same way again. That dad can't play catch with his kids and they all have leukemia. <laughs> I have a dream catcher hanging above my bed. It's just a picture of my future children. Because once you have kids, your dreams don't matter anymore. <laughs> right next to them, I have a picture of a condom. I call it my dream catcher catcher. Because <laughs> pulling out doesn't work. Just ask any parent who ever had a dream. I often stay up and wonder if the word recycle was originally thrown out. I'm a competitive person. I want to try heroin to see if I can beat it. I just started doing heroin and I can't stop because it's fucking heroin. That's the most addictive joke I have ever written. My name's Mike Wells, guys. Thank you so much for having me.